Welcome to the Ben Wood Johnson Podcast. You can visit Dr. Johnson's blog at benwoodpost.com. Dr. Johnson's works can be found at drbenwoodjohnson.com. You can also support Dr. Johnson on Patreon, the link to which is in the description. Welcome to the Ben Wood Johnson Podcast. Uh, Today is June 18, 2018. This is our fifth podcast. Uh, Once again, I am excited. We have one podcast left in this series, and we are still talking about the importance of technology. We are still debating the purpose of technology. In this particular installment, we are going to talk about how society sort of decides which technology is important and which is not important. And uh, because of that selection or that restriction, uh, the individual is no longer capable of sustaining himself. Certain technologies that used to be important for his existence are no longer viewed as such. Um, Society decides which technology is of a value and which is not of any value. And uh, this creates a situation where there's a a staggering amount of accumulation of wealth and there's also a staggering amount of accumulation of of poverty. So there's a lot of poverty as a result and the being is in the middle of that because the being has to survive and the being cannot survive because society determines the structure of survival and the being no longer has the capacity to create his own own survival mechanism his his techniques are are irrelevant with within the confine of society itself so without further ado let us delve right into it Because my existence is incumbent upon other beings. My existence is incumbent upon what they think. Do I deserve to be? And I am going to be according to them. I'm not going to be just because I am. I'm going to be according to them. You are going to make me be. And my existence is incumbent upon that approval. My subsistence is relative to the level of approval I get. The more approval I receive, the better I'm going to be able to subsist because the way it is translated in society is that if I am approved, if society acknowledges my existence, okay, they're going to reward me for being because they acknowledge that I am. And once they acknowledge that I am, I am going to be rewarded for that. But my existence is incumbent upon how much they acknowledge that I am. If they acknowledge that I am, that acknowledgement is translated into something important. My being is going to be important. I'm going to get a lot of money. I'm going to get a good job. I'm going to be valued as a member of society in that job. I'm going to get a lot of money. And getting a lot of money is going to allow me to subsist longer than any other individual. Because I have money that others have provided to me. Okay. And that money is going to contribute to my subsistence. And that subsistence is going to feed back to my existence in society. And my existence is going to feed back to me being in society. Okay. Nature does not keep track of great man. In fact, nature does not have any great man. Society does. And keeps track of them, honor them, gives them rewards, acknowledgement. Generations after generations received honor for the work of the man that society greeted as great. The subsistence is guaranteed, even if they do not have the tools to subsist, or 
even if they do not do not have the capacity to sub- even if I'll spell the rules of nature they would not have made it but society is going to allow these few individuals to be to the detriment of the many who are supposed to be okay and this fundamental thing has to be understood so the purpose of technology has been drifted away technology now is an important element technology now is an important asset of social existence so technology has drifted away from its original purpose which is to facilitate the existence of the being within the compound of nature now a technology becomes this tool that facilitates the existence of the being within the compound of society and that technology enables or enhances comfort in society technology is an item that can be bought sold as opposed to nature technology is intangible technology is something that everybody has therefore in nature everybody is a technician thereby the worth of technology is irrelevant because technology in nature is important for the survival of every individual but in society the worth of technology is important because not everybody gets to be a technician even if everybody is naturally a technician in society one has to go to school the purpose of education is to teach future technicians is to prepare future technicians but what they're teaching you are things that you already know but you don't know you know because you don't know what society is going to require from you suppose that you're an astrophysicist what sets you apart from somebody who is a fisherman what sets you apart from him the only thing that sets apart from an astrophysicist and a fisherman is the prestige and the prestige that society imposes or a society bestows upon the person he deems worthy of that prestige any man could be a fisherman any man could be an astrophysicist the astrophysicist has a bigger brain than the fisherman is there a biological difference between an astrophysicist and a fisherman no no none can be found in society and none can be found in nature either however being an astrophysicist is a technology invented by man in society it's a technology that men invented and only a few has access to that technology thereby being an astrophysicist makes you an important man however being a fisherman is not viewed as a technology to subsist in society and i'm sure back in the days when there were no astrophysicists around a fisherman was a valued member of society i'm sure he was especially during the time when everybody counted on fish to eat to subsist Okay. And the guy who had the technique to catch the most fish, he would probably be seen as somebody of a certain prestige in society. Okay? But nowadays, a fisherman in most societies is worthless. In fact, where I come from, if you're a fisherman, they don't even know you exist. Okay? So at that point you become this irrelevant blip in the history of humanity. And you're not even a blip that is if you're lucky you're going to be a blip okay the existence is not known and will never be known unless you catch a big fish then people will acknowledge that you must have had some technique you must have had some skills of course you're going to find those who are going to say ah it was just luck <laughs> so so in, in other words the capacity is always going to be undermined okay So within that context we have to understand the whole purpose of technology is not to make the life of a few better the whole purpose of technology is to make the existence of humanity persist it's to continue the existence of humanity okay in a world where technology is used as technology was supposed to be used the capacity of a person to 
came up with a technique that allows others to eat or a technique that allows the human species to conserve food okay it's a technique that should be available to everybody because what that technique does it allows people to subsist longer than they they could probably could and that technology if it were used for the continued existence of nature everybody should have access to that technology okay everybody should be able to gather food to have food conserve food as long as possible i mean if society were coherent the coherence of society would mean that everything we do would be for the advancement of society not for the advancement of a few in other words if i created a tool that is going to prolong the life of human beings i should not benefit from it if society were coherent okay but that tool should not be something that's going to make me better than anybody else that too should not be something that's going to give me a place in society that no one else can enjoy but because the tool that i created i am a valued member of society thereby i have more approval thereby i am offered more capacity to do what to subsist cuz i'm going to get more money okay whenever my name is pronounced people are going to bow before me hail the king Okay. Could have someone else created that tool that I just created? Yes. So at the end of the day, it wasn't about me. It was about the tool I created, wasn't it? Yes. But why? Why isn't the tool being used to advance humanity? Why I, as an individual, I am the one profiting from it. Why? because society is structured in ways that allow a few to make it to subsist and that denies the many their subsistence and the subsistence of the many is incumbent upon their adaptation their obedience their acceptance of the rules established by society thereby making them irrelevant and they are in eternal conflict with themselves because they know they have to survive they know they have the capacity to survive yet they cannot survive is there someone somewhere who's preventing them from surviving because society does not have a face after all so at the end of the day nobody sees that they're suffering in society it's because society makes it possible they see that there's a god somewhere who's preventing them from getting what they want but everything you want in society is something that a man created there are only a